Welcome to Mpuma Kappa TV. I am your host with the most Kabiso Zweni. I have the great lineup for you today here on Quarren TV. Don't go anywhere. Chill, relax and enjoy. Moloni Makaya, ikamela mgosisipa and I am not alone. I'm out here with <laughs> I got you! I got you! <laughs> you did, you I did. Uh -huh. How is level four treating you? Ooh, level four is amazing. And I'm happy that most people are going back to work. And yeah. Oh, okay. I really miss you so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, if we talk about something to say, then let's stay at home. True, that is true. So, while we stay at home, what are we doing today? Guess. Please guess. It's story time. Yes, Yay! it's story time today. today. Okay, the story for today is Monkey Puzzle. This book was written by Julia Donaldson and Axel Schaffler. Okay. 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 Monkey puzzle. I've lost my mom. Oh shame! Mm. The monkey looks so sad. Yes. Hush, little monkey. Don't you cry. I'll help you find her. Said butterfly let's have a think how big is she she's big said the monkey bigger than me bigger than you then i've seen your mom come little monkey come 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 okay let's see this no 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 that's an elephant my mom isn't a great gray hunk she hasn't got a tusk or a curly trunk. She doesn't have great thick baggy knees. And anyways, her tail calls round trees. Oh, her tail, not the trunk. Yes, not the yes, not the trunk. <laughs> she calls round trees. Then she's very near. Quick little monkey she's over here no 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 that's a snake <laughs> what was this <laughs> mom doesn't look a bit like this she doesn't slither about and hiss she doesn't curl around a nest of eggs and anyway my mom's got more legs <laughs> It, yes. Oh, it's legs we are looking for now. You say, I know where she is then. Come this way. No, no, no. That's a spider. Ah, he, he, he. What was the spider my thinking? Mm -hmm. How do you produce a monkey and a spider? <laughs> I don't know. Mom isn't black and hairy and fat. She's not got so many legs as that. She'd rather eat fruit than swallow a fly. And she lives in the treetops way up high. Hey, 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 yes. Look at the spider! Look at so Ooh, many flies in the yes. spider! The spider is greedy! <laughs> <Pretty. laughs> she lives in the trees? You should have said, your mom's hiding above your head. No, 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 that's a parrot. Oh, no! Yeah. Will this butterfly ever get it right? <laughs> Let's find out. Mom's got a nose and not a beak. She doesn't squawk and squabble and shriek. She doesn't have claws or feathery wings. And anyways, my mom lips and springs. Ah, I've got it. She lips about. She's just around the corner without a doubt. Ooh, I wonder who's <laughs> 
No, 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 that's a frog. <laughs> butterfly, butterfly, please don't joke. Mom's not green and she doesn't croak. She's not all slimy or dear. What a muddle. Brown fur, why didn't you tell me so? We'll find her in no time. Off we go. No, 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 that's a bat. <laughs> Why do you keep on getting it wrong? Mom doesn't sleep the whole day long. I told you, she's got no wings at all. And anyways, she's not nearly so small. Your mom's not little? Now let me think. She's down by the river having a drink. No, she's not. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the elephant again. Butterfly, butterfly, can't you see? None of these creatures looks like me. You never told me she looked like you. Of course I didn't. I thought you knew. I didn't know. I couldn't. You see, none of my babies looks like me. Mm -hmm. Yes, wow. Yes, she looks like you. Well, if that's the case, we'll soon discover her hiding place. No, 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 that's my dad. Oh, that's close. Yes, that's close enough. Come, little monkey, come, come, come. It's time I took you home too. Mom! At last! Me too! Me too! It's the end of the story now, Reme! It was! Yes! Mm -hmm. You making me some food! <laughs> oh really? Say goodbye to everyone! Bye! The world is full of strange behavior Every man has to be his own savior I know I can make it on my own if I tried But I'm searching for a great heart to stand me by Underneath the African sky A great heart to stand me by I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart To hold and keep me by I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart Under African sky Sometimes I feel that you really know me Sometimes there's so much you can show me Storms across the heavens There's the whispered song of the wind and the grass There's the rolling thunder across the savannah A hope and a dream at the edge of the sky And your life is a story like the wind And your life is a story like the wind I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart 
to hold and stand me by. I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart under African skies. I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart. See, I see the fire in your eyes. I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart under African skies. Sometimes I feel that you really know me. Sometimes there's so much you can show me. This is my video. I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart. Who comes in my silo and is I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart. Who comes in my silo and is I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart Under African skies I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart Who comes in by Salo and I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart Who comes in by Salo and I'm searching for the spirit of the great heart I see the fire in your eyes I'm searching for the spirit of a great heart <laughs> Ah, kiri helele, tumilang Hello everybody, welcome Today from the Masnusane family We are going to hear a wonderful story it is a famous story brought to you by our friends from the mountain kingdom of Lesotho. It is the tale of Zelani. Beautiful story. Here it goes. So, Zelani was a young girl. She lived with her mother. Oh, her mother loved Zelani so because Zelani was very obedient. She always did as she was told. Now her mother worked hard every single day and she would go to work and come back late in the evening just when it was starting to get dark. And she would always tell Zelani, Zelani, do not open the door for anybody. And the reason was that right in the forest where they lived, there were big giants and there were bad giants, what these giants would do was they would, they would go from door to door and they would steal children and eat them. So Zelani's mother said, the way you will know that it is me who is knocking, I am going to teach you a song. So she taught Zelani a song. Would you like to hear the song? Ah. In her beautiful voice, the mother would say, Zelani wanake, Zelani wanake, Tlo unke huja huje, Tlo unke dijo uje. Which means, Zelani my child, Zelani my child, come on up, come on out and take some bread and eat it. And that's how Zelani would know that her mother was outside. Everything was going well, but not knowing that there was one giant who was watching this every single day and he was making notes. And one day he made sure that he learned the song well enough 
to imitate Tselani's mother. So what the giant did was he waited for Tselani's mother to go to work. And then after some time, he knocked on the door. Can you guess what he did? That's right, friends. He went and he sang the song. But of course, his voice was nowhere near Tselani's mother's sweet voice. Instead, he knocked and he said, Tselani Mwanaki, Tselani Mwanaki, Tlo Oumke Huza Uje, Tlo Oumke Dijo Uje. Tselani was, of course, very clever. She said, You think I don't know that you are a giant? Go away. My mother told me not to open the door for anyone. So off the giant went. But he did not go home. Instead, he went to a bad medicine man. One of those very bad ones. There are some very bad ones. There are some very, very good ones. But there are some very bad ones. And he went to a bad medicine man. And he told the medicine man, Look here, you need to make my voice very, very sweet, very, very beautiful. So what the medicine man did was to tell him, Listen here, giant. You take a long piece of iron. Piece of iron. You put it over a fire and you hold it until the iron gets very, very hot, until the iron gets so hot that it turns red. When that happens, then what you do, giant, is you put medicine, you put my medicine over that iron, and then you take that red-hot iron and put it down your throat. That will make your voice very sweet. The giant did just that, took a long iron, put it over the fire, made sure the fire was very, very, very hot. The iron turned red hot. And then when he saw that the iron was red hot, he took the medicine, put it over the iron, put the iron into his throat. And what happened? That voice suddenly became like this. Oh no, here comes trouble. Off went the giant, and off he went straight to Tselani's home. Knock, knock, knock. Tselani Nguanaki, Tselani Nguanaki, Tlo unke di jo uje, Tlo unke di jo uje. Tselani, of course, thought it was her mother, and she opened the door, and what happened? The giant grabbed Tselani, and off he went with her. Off he went with Tselani, straight to his hut. He tied her up, he tied her up, where all his friends were ready and waiting. They were ready celebrating with a big feast and they made lots of beer. Lots of beer, they were so happy. They made lots of beer, they were ready to feast on Tselani. When Tselani's mother came home, she of course started to sing, but then she noticed the door was open. Immediately she knew that something had happened and she went looking for her child and then she followed the sound, the sound of the singing, the singing of course by the giants because remember they were having a feast, having lots of beer. What happens to people when they have so much beer in their system? They fall asleep and that is exactly what happened to the giant. Now remember the giants had taken Tselani, tied her up put her in a bag, right? So Tselani's mother came and she heard her child crying in the bag, crying and she read, every mother knows her child's voice. So what Tselani's mother did, the giants were fast asleep, remember? Fast asleep. So she quickly, softly, slowly, took out Tselani and then put in all sorts of insects, snakes, bees, whatever you name it, every insect and every reptile that stings, she put it into the bag and tied the bag up and she went home with Tselani. Sooner or later, the giants woke up, ready for the feast. 
by now the fire was ready everything was ready and settled all they needed to do was to eat the child so of course the giants beat the bag because they thought it was a child inside there beat the bag now when you hit a bag full of insects the insects are going to get very angry so when the giant opened the bag guess what the bees and the snakes and everything they went straight for him because they had made them angry and he, they went straight for him and of course his voice was soft and beautiful so nobody heard him crying when he went Imagine a big giant going, ah, ah, and that's what happened. Ha <laughs> ha! They stung him and they stung him and they stung him and they stung him. And guess what happened to him? He fell into the big pot of the boiling water, the water that he had boiled to eat Zelani. Cho cho, poof, into the water. That is how the giant died. That, my friends, is the story of Zelani. It is a beautiful story reminding us that we should always pay attention. We should never talk to strangers and most importantly, never ever let anyone in when your house, when your parents are away. Thank you. Back to you. Selani, monarchy. Selani, monarchy. So, okay, Thank you for joining us here on Quarren TV or on your channel of choice, Mpoma Kappa TV on 260. Make sure you join us again for another fun-filled episode of Quarren TV. It's show me how Kongeli Kali Lockdown. I was your host and still am the fabulous Uklavi Sozweni. Make sure you wash your hands, stay indoors.